Are you sure it's safe? Safe as houses. Uh, not that houses are made for hurtling through space. We don't need that, mate. Uh, I really don't think Pepper's boots will be on the moon. Nonsense! Mrs. Duck flew to the moon, and that's where we're going. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> and her friend have landed on the moon. I can jump really high. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> is it magic? Not exactly, Pepper. It's because the moon is much smaller than the Earth. In simple terms, gravity equals g times m divided by radius times 2, where g is the gravitational constant. So it's magic? Yes, it's magic. Right, let's find that duck. Looking on the moon, looking everywhere. Looking, looking high, high, looking low, low for the, the golden boots. Are they in a crater? No! Are they on a mountain? No! no. Looking on the moon for the golden boots. <sighs> How will we ever find my boots? <laughs> Let's ask at the shop. I found it on the moon! Ooh. My dad sells rocks in packs of five. Yes, thank you, Freddy. You don't need to go to the moon to get them. You do if you want moon rock. Grumpy Rabbit, how did you go to the moon? I flew in a rocket. It's a bit small. This is just a model. The rocket I went in was ginormous. Do you all know how to count to five? Yes! One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. But when you go into space, you count backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you have to shout blast off as loudly as possible. Blast off! I can't hear anything. Blast off! Vroom! There I was, flying through space. And then I landed on the moon! It was so beautiful up there, I was lost for words. That sounds nice. Did you know you could jump really high on the moon? Oh! How high? As high as a house! Why can you jump so high on the moon? Um. The gravitational pull is smaller on the moon. Oh, yes, that's it. They're quite the clever clogs, aren't we? Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. I was a little bit lonely up there, with just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. 
That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> Does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard, but the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are, on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity! Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. <laughs> Maybe... We can go just this once, Daddy Pig. Hooray! It is the first time Pepper and George have been in the car at night. Look, we're following the North Star. <laughs> North Star, North Star, shining with a twinkly glow. Please show us the way to go. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Oh, dear. I do hope Grandpa and Granny Pig haven't gone to bed. What are you doing here at this hour? We want to see the stars. Peppa and George were hoping they could look through your telescope. I see. Very well. To the top of the house, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Here she is, old Bess. Wow! Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. Now, who's for the first look? Me, me, me! Ooh, the North Star! We sailors use it to find our way home. Daddy used it to find his way here. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other things in the sky? Yes. This is a planet called Saturn. Wow! What are those pretty rings? They are made of rock and ice. Saturn is very, very cold. We could build a snowman, George. <laughs> 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 Quick! Look! Oh! It's a shooting star. You must make a wish. I wish that when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into space. <laughs> Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Ooh. Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. Pepper's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George. Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> 
Paddy Pig. Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur <laughs> balloon. But George let it go and it's flying to the moon. There must be some way we can get it back. Uh, balloon! Look! Polly Parrot is flying after the balloon. Polly Parrot to the rescue. Go, Polly, go! Polly Parrot has rescued George's balloon. Hooray! Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> <laughs> George, don't let go of your balloon again. I know. We'll tie the string to your wrist, George. What a good idea. <laughs> George loves his dinosaur balloon. Everyone loves George's dinosaur balloon. <laughs> roll up, roll up. The top prize is a ride in my hot air balloon. Wow, that sounds fun. <laughs> Can I have a ticket, please? The blue ticket wins. A toy car! Well done, Danny! <laughs> Can I have a ticket, please? Thank you, Peppa. What are you hoping to win? The balloon ride! Wouldn't it be nicer to win the homemade chocolate cake? Daddy Pig loves homemade chocolate cake. <laughs> the red ticket wins... The balloon ride! Hooray! All aboard for the balloon ride! How many passengers, please? Four, please. And a teddy. Dinosaur. Oh, and a teddy and a dinosaur. That makes six. All aboard! <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy Pig. Hop aboard. Quick, Daddy. Splice the main brace. Chocks away. Full steam ahead. Very impressive, Miss Rabbit. You must be an expert pilot. Not really. This is the first time I've ever flown a balloon. Oh. Hold tight! Miss Rabbit heats up the air in the balloon to make it rise into the sky. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Would anyone like to do the map reading? I will. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? I'm very good at map reading. Oh, this map is a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher! The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh! Where did the sky go? Don't worry, Pepper. We're just flying through a cloud. 
Ooh. Wow, the sky is back again. Hooray! <laughs> big balloon, big balloon. Bigger than the sun and moon. Flying high in the sky. Fly and fly and fly and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello, Dr. Hamster. This is Mr. Elephant. Mr. Elephant and his family are out for a walk in the mountains. We found a sick lizard. It's a gecko. Edmund knows all about lizards. He is a clever clogs. I'll be straight there. Ooh, can we come too? Of course. Let's go. Are we going in an ambulance? No. The mountains are too far away. We'll go in my aeroplane. Ooh! Airplane! Yeah. George loves aeroplanes. All aboard! <laughs> up, up and away! I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr Hamster. Oh, yes. I'm the flying vet. Thank goodness. The vet's here. Where is the sick lizard? Here it is. Oh, poor little pickle. What is wrong with the lizard? It seems to be upside down. I just flip it over. There. Dr Hamster has made the lizard better. Hooray! Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello. Uh, Grandpa Pig here. Grandpa Pig is out sailing his boat. It's Polly. She's a sick parrot. Ah, uh, sick parrot. I'll be right there. Look, Polly, it's the flying vet. Where are we going to land? This is a seaplane, Pepper. We can land on the water. Hello, <laughs> Peppa, George. Hello, Grandpa. We've come to make Polly better. How long has Polly been sick? Since we came out on our boat trip. Aha! Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with Polly. She's seasick. Oh! oh. <laughs> Look! A display of rescue vehicles. Grandad Dog is showing his pickup truck. This is the sound my pickup truck makes. <laughs> Mummy Sheep is showing the fire engine. <laughs> this is the sound the fire engine makes. And Miss Rabbit is showing her rescue helicopter. This is the sound my helicopter makes. Helicopter reversing. Helicopter reversing. Ooh. Would you like to go for a ride? Yes, please. <laughs> OK. Hop in. <laughs> oh, dear. There's no room for me. Never mind. I'll watch from the ground. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Whee-hee! We're going up in the air. Yes! It can go straight up. <laughs> it can go straight down. Whee! Can even loop the loop. Whoa! <laughs> poor Daddy, he's missing all the fun. Yes, poor Daddy. One ice cream, please. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Maybe we should land now. Emergency! Emergency! Calling rescue helicopter. I'm on my way. You're in luck. We've got a job to do. Mr. Bull is digging up the road. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting. OK, Mr Bull. How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet. Hooray! What are you going to do with the pipe? Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home.
This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Aeroplane! Yeah! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> This is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! Look, Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Peppa and her family are flying through the sky on their way to a sunny holiday. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. Please fasten your seatbelts. This is Captain Emergency speaking. We are about to land in Italy. Oh, Italy. That sounds nice. The aeroplane has landed. Hooray! <laughs> oh dear. Pepper has left Teddy on the aeroplane. Now we need a car to drive to our holiday house. Here is the place to borrow cars. Hello. Buongiorno. Come posso aiutare una così bella signora? In Italy, people speak Italian. Oh, um, we need a car. Non capisco. Let me handle this. I'm an expert at talking. <clears throat> we need a car. Uovo. Not eggs. A car. Um, no. Not flowers. No. Brim, brim. <laughs> ah, auto. Hey, hey. Brim, brim, beep, beep. Well done, George. <laughs> this bag is heavy. Oh. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. It's all very important. Are we going to get lost like we always do? <laughs> no, Peppa. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. <laughs> Strada, porco! I hope it's sunny when we get home. Pepper's family have arrived home. <laughs> Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Goldie! What has Grandpa done to you? Um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa, you fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, 
You really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa. Not yet. Oh. That's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I've really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, oh, oh, ho! We got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> 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 Peppa and Susie loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Holidays are nice, but coming home to muddy puddles is even better. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Grandpa Pig, we've got a bit lost on the way to Windy Castle. No, <laughs> is Daddy Pig doing the map reading? <laughs> yes, Daddy Pig is doing the map reading, and he's a bit grumpy at the moment. I am not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best route. Uh, keep on the main road until you see Windy Castle up ahead. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. We follow the main road and look out for Windy Castle. As I thought. <laughs> <laughs> look, is that a castle? Yes, it's Windy Castle. Come on, car. Go on, car, you can make it. Hooray! Hooray! Pepper and her family have arrived at Windy Castle. Wow, it's so tall. <laughs> Let's go inside. The view from the top is fantastic. <laughs> wow. Look at the view. Mummy, is that Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, it is. It's so far away. Let's take a look through the telescope. Can I look first, please? Yes, but you must let George look next. Wow! The telescope makes everything look bigger. I can see Granny and Grandpa. Look, George. <coughs> Thank you, Ig. Papa Ig. George is waving at Granny and Grandpa. Silly George. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa are too far away to see you waving. I know. We can ring them. Hello? Grandpa Pig, we can see you from Windy Castle. Wave at us. Granny and Grandpa are waving at us. <laughs> <laughs> I love Windy Castle. <laughs> Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... <laughs> Look, the sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Pepper and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> <laughs> And do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Here we are. Oh, where's our rainbow gone? 
It's moved to the next hill. You cheeky rainbow. Quick, let's catch it. Rainbow, rainbow, it's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> it stopped raining. And the rainbow is gone. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Maybe the rainbow has left some treasure behind. There's something over here. Have you found the rainbow's treasure? Yes, I have. A big, magic puddle. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best rainbow treasure ever. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view. Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains. Like this. Yodle! Yodle! Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Peppa loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Peppa. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Would you like some bread? <coughs> the ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. <coughs> Goodness me. <coughs> <coughs> Home time! All aboard! It's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. Careful you don't hit that big stick, Grandpa! That's a mooring post. I won't hit it. Oh. Grandpa, there's a big hole in your boat. It's just a scratch. Ooh, Grandpa's boat is sinking. Quick, Grandpa Pig, jump off! A captain never leaves his sinking ship. Grandpa Pig's boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. It is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Lovely day for a sail! Um, yes. Ahoy there! I'm taking my boat to the boatyard today. Going to get a few repairs done. Uh, would you mind taking my boat to the boatyard too, please? Of course. Where is your boat? Um, I'm standing on it. Oh, oh has it sunk? Uh, well, a little bit. I'm surprised your boat didn't sink a long time ago. What? It's a better boat than that rust bucket of yours. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are very best friends. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! <laughs> Grandad Dog's truck has lifted Grandpa Pig's boat out of the water. Wow! Next stop, the boatyard! What's a boatyard? A boatyard, Pepper, is where broken boats get mended. This is Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Ahoy there, me hearties! Ahoy there, Grampy Rabbit! Ooh, who did that to your boat, Grandpa Pig? Um, someone drove it into a mooring post. It went crash and made a big hole there. Today, children, we are going to learn about instruments that you shake, rattle and bang. Hooray! First, choose an instrument each from the music room. <laughs> I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I 
we've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick like this. I've got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a Kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow! How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. <coughs> what are these? These are castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running... Jumping? Swimming? I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No! Yes. Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow! No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Oh, oh. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Peppa. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes! OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow! Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master! Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Pepper. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes, why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> this is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm, mmm. You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. <laughs> Hello, 
everyone. Hello, Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Mackey Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. <sniffs> I can be quiet. It's not easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh! Oh! And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Oh, I've got plenty of them. I do them in packs of five. Can we come along? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Daddy Pig is towing Mr Fox's van to the petrol station. <laughs> One, two, three... George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten! With your knots, here we come! <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Pepper is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Pepper and George. <laughs> Move up. <laughs> there you all are. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Budge up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Surprise! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah, let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. <laughs> I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. no. What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> see Chloe again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Peppa. Can, can we, we come, come along, along too? too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Peppa and George. Hooray! You can still have fun playing games, even when you're almost grown up. You have to imagine it. 
the trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> ah! Ready? Don't forget to do the call. Ah! Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done! What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it like this. But you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa! But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. And she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> My mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you! Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mwah! Hello, Mr. Monkey. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says yes. What's the magic word, Mr. Monkey? Oh, oh, oh. That means please. Oh, we haven't got a tea set. We could make a tea set out of play clay. Yes. George, can we use a play clay, please? No. Grrr. Zuzu, Zaza, we need to make a tea set for our tea party. No. You can help us make it. <laughs> I'll make the teapot and we'll make the cups. <laughs> there, now Monkey can have tea. Oh, this tea.
teapot is too soft. Real tea sets aren't soft. <coughs> My mummy makes real pots. She does pottery. Ooh. <coughs> mummy, can you help us make a tea set, please? With teacups and a teapot that we can put real water in. OK, come with me. This is where Mrs Zebra makes her pottery. Let's make this tea set. What's that? Clay. All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh! Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There. One cup. Wow! <laughs> that looks Easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> ah, it's all gone wrong! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing and when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Just knees and toes. dance already! Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes. Knees and toes. <laughs> this one is still blinking! You're out! <laughs> You're moving, George! You're out! <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out! <laughs> so Zaza! The winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. <laughs> now it's time for pass the parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel! Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that's Zaza's medal. <laughs> Wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. Who's a clever parrot? Oh, who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Look! There's Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops? Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Oh, chocolate. <laughs> Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper, comic. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine. Action stations. <laughs> Ahoy there, me 
hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing with just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <sniffs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <sniffs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get a bit lonely with just the sea and sky for company. How long have you been here? Since Tuesday. Who? I've got tales to tell, if you'd like to hear. No, thanks. Yes, please. Well, there's the sea and the sky and... Uh, uh, I'm learning the banjo. Would you like to hear a song? No, thanks. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. The, the sea, sea, the, the sky, sky, the sea, sea the sky. Here's your cheese. Oh. I've missed cheese. And a new book. How to run a lighthouse. Oh, that'll come in handy. Why is your house called a lighthouse? I'll show you, Pepper. The staircase goes round and round to the very top of the lighthouse. Round and round and round. <laughs> it's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top. Wow! It shines through the dark, helping sailors to find their way. Ooh. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. Fog! That's loud. No fog today, just sea and sky. The stories I could tell... No, thank you. We've got to go. We're sailing to Pirate Island. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbits. Enjoy the sea and the sky. We will. Grandad Dog's boat has arrived at Pirate Island. Look, our sandcastle is still here. Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, There are not many places to hide on Pirate Island. Five. Ready or not, here I come. Found you! Oh. Now. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK. Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. 
Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister.